So we're here to, to address kinesio tape. It's a big thing. Rebecca, get off your gosh dang phone. We're here to talk about kinesio tape, and I, and I uh, much like the power balance bracelet thing, I didn't come into it with, uh, a, on a witch hunt. I didn't want to prove it wrong, but I came in skeptical, and I encourage you to do that when you come across various products. Be skeptical, but you don't want to make judgments too early. So first of all, let's look at what kinesio tape really is and how it's used. If you type in kinesio tape on the internet, you're going to get a lot of images. Check this guy out. So I don't, I'm not sure what kind of pose that is, but I, I have that so that you can see the various... Uh, places on the body which kinesio tape might be used. You can, it's even got on his, on his uh, gluteus there. We've got all, all kinds of stuff. Various places of the body this kinesio tape can be used and it's, uh, very, that guy's just decked out in this kinesio tape. So, so it's, it's rather popular and these are some examples of how it might be used by physical therapists, athletic trainers, uh, even coaches. And you'll even find it on animals. In fact, in fact, while I was looking it up, uh, the, the inventor of this kinesio tape used it on a chihuahua, and there was a group of people who used it on a flamingo, even. I looked online, and if you go to the kinesio tape website, it says that it can assist in these various injuries. It doesn't say it will heal, per se, these injuries. It says it can assist in the healing of these. And you can see what's all up here. We've got whiplash, headaches, shin splints, all kinds of... Uh, fasciitis or inflammation, bunions. Obviously there's a pretty big claim here. Now again, I want to emphasize, they're not saying it heals all these per se, but it can assist in the healing process. This is Kenzo Case, Dr. Kenzo Case. I'm going to talk later about his background briefly, but he is the inventor. He's from Japan and, and he invented this actually a long, long time ago in the 70s and just recently it's kind of come out and gotten big. Does he look like the inventor of kinesio tape? He doesn't look like my doctor, but anyway, see, this, is, this is Dr. Kenzo Case. And the popularity aspect of kinesio tape, you all know who Lance Armstrong is, right? He claimed that this is magical. He claimed that the tape has magical powers in, in a book that he authored. And a lot of uh, celebrities, sports stars are using it. Do all, uh, obviously, David Beckham, we know the soccer player, David Beckham. And uh, do you all know who Carrie Walsh is? She's the volleyball player. She's like nine foot something. She was in the Beijing Olympics in 08. And then Serena Williams, and there's, men, there's a whole slew of athletes that, are, that uh, promote this idea of kinesio tape and its effects. And there's even an army of physical therapists that support this idea. I've talked to many over the phone and some of the emails that I got. There are physical therapists that support this idea. In fact, they use it in practice. Kinesio tape is even insurable in some cases. Insurance many times will pay for the use of kinesio tape in their treatment. You don't have to read this text, I want to read it to you, because more important than you, you just sitting there reading it is understanding it. So I want you to really listen to what I say here. This is a quote from Kenzo Case regarding how this kinesio tape might work. He says, your pain receptors are lo located between the epidermis and the dermis, the first and second layers of the skin. So I thought that if I applied uh, uh, tape to the pain, it would lift the epidermis slightly up and make a space between the two layers, the two layers of the skin. This would in turn allow blood flow to flow blood to flow more easily to the injured area. So this is his defense on how it might work. You create very very micro, uh, very small space between the epidermis and the dermis, increases blood flow, and he says that in turn can help reduce pain. Now this is his defense. So we're not going to talk about what this means just yet, but this is his idea, concept of how it might work. There are other theories out there. These are others that I've obtained from other physical therapists that they say this is how they think it works or some of the seminars and presentations they go to, this was introduced to them. Friction theory. Now the friction theory, stay with me now. You've got to pay attention. Ten, are you awake? Wake up. Wake up. All right, so friction theory. <clears throat> we got our skin and our muscle. I want you to picture that. Now, this, in this context here, the muscle can be anything under the skin. So it, we, we can have a bone, ligament, tendon, but I'm just going to have muscle. Anything's under the skin at this point. That's what I want to represent. Now, when your muscle changes links in this, in this text here, what does the skin do? It, it, for the most part, it, it, it correlates, does it not? Does it not? Okay, good. Pay attention. So if your muscle is, is changing links, your skin, for the most part, is, is elastic and it'll expand and contract there. So the skin follows suit to a certain extent. So the theory goes, if you put kinesio tape on top of the skin, it will, in, a, in essence, keep the skin from changing links. So what happens if our tissue underneath the skin is changing links and our skin is not? 
Well, the theory of the, the friction theory suggests there's a rubbing which creates friction, which creates heat, which creates increased blood flow. So now we have an entirely different theory that suggests we have increased blood flow around that area. Do you understand the friction theory? Yes. Okay, good. Second theory, proprioceptive awareness theory. It sounds fancy. All this is suggesting that somebody, when they have tape on their shoulder, their knee, their ankle, what have you, it just creates an awareness. They feel it. And this theory suggests that since someone might feel that something's there, they might limit range of motion in it. It's just simply a reminder. Say, hey, we have, a, we have tape here, tape because of an injury. Let's limit use of it. Very simple. They call it the proprioceptive awareness. It could be, hey, tape's here. Don't move your arm theory. Do you understand? Yes. Pretty simple idea. Reduced ROM. What is ROM? Range of, motion. Range of motion. Now, this gets into more of the biomechanical aspects, if you will. And this just suggests that tape on a certain extremity any kind of tape, not just kinesio tape, but we're going to focus on kinesio tape in this regard, it simply limits range of motion. So this is an image that I showed you earlier about how kinesio tape might be used. However, if you'll look, we cross the bottom of the heel here and then this blue tape wraps around the top of the foot. So because of that tape, we actually might limit range of motion. Do you understand? Now when we limit range of motion or limit movement, what potentially could happen? Right. We make it more, uh, more likely to heal because we're not going to injure, further injure it. Do you understand? Or keep it injured. Now this can be, can be any tape, but I just want to talk to you about how one theory of how kinesio tape might benefit. All right. Anybody have any questions up to this point? Anybody have any problems with kinesio tape? Any beefs with it just yet? You got, okay. Talk to me, Jordan. Okay, the question was, what's the difference in regular uh, athletic tape and kinesio tape? And that's a very good question. In fact, if you read his website, he'll say he spent years trying to perfect this tape that was just the right elasticity and, and breathability. So the, my answer to that would be this is a little more breathable in the sense that, you, you see what I'm saying, perhaps a little more porous, if you will, and it's a certain type of a, elastic nature that allows it to stretch or contract. Does that make sense? We know that athletic tape is pretty rigid, correct? Okay, so that, that's a good question. I'd say that's the primary difference. Breathability and its elasticity. Okay, fair, fair question, Jordan. So I want to talk to you about my, uh, my questions. I'm not going to call it my beef or my problems just yet, but just some, some warning signs that I got. Rebecca, wake up. Am I that boring? Seriously. Okay. Four hours of sleep? We'll get more sleep, dadgummit. A lot of physical, th physical therapists that I got to, and even online, it says, well, some benefit and some don't. I consider that a clause. Do y'all know the power balance bracelet bit? Some benefit and some don't. Some may gain balance better and some may not. To me, that's a warning sign. That's a, it's not necessarily a reason to, to back off just yet, but it's certainly a reason to be cautious. The second uh, reservation I have is the case occupations. Who's Kenzo Case? He's the doctor. Remember I said he's Dr. Kenzo Case? Anybody know what he's a doctor of? He was an acupuncturist and a chiropractor in Japan. Now, anybody have any knowledge about the, the two professions I just mentioned? Yes, sir. Okay, dad's a chiropractor, then you're going to get mad at me in a moment. What about acupuncturist? Talk to me. Okay, you used the word like, which I told you not to do last time, but that's okay. You're exactly right. They're arguable. Yes, sir. They're homeopathic. Forms of They're homeopathic. What does homeopathic mean? <laughs> you use the word homeopathic and you don't no, know what no, it means? I don't know exactly how to explain it. It's like non invasive, like surgery, more. It is non invasive. Okay, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase here because we've got to keep going. A lot of educated people out there that say acupuncture is crap, they do. And a lot of educated people say out there that chiropractic, the chiropractic practice is crap. I'm not going to get into whether they're wrong or right, but I'm just going to say Dr. Kenzo Case's history throws up a red flag for me. Credible research. There are dozens and dozens of research papers out there. Some of you might have come across while you were looking up your PT emails. But the problem is I could not find one that directly measured any of these theories. This idea of increased blood flow, friction, heat, etc. None. There are tons of research papers out there that say 
We put tape on a guy and he got better. Woo! Well, that's great. But the problem is, that's not, to me, that's not credible research. Do you see what I'm getting at? Oh, by the way, about 80% of the research studies I found were uh, Japanese researchers. I'm not going to assume too much, but they might be uh, homies of Kenzo Case, so I'm not, I'm not going to throw that in there. So all these are caution to me. Now, again, we're still not going to go on a witch hunt just yet, okay? Well, we should never go on a witch hunt. We should be thorough about this and, and, and really think this through. But these are just things that might throw up a flag for me. I'm going to use caution as I review this kinesio tape idea. The dermis epidermis theory. This is one that, that Dr. Kenzo K said for himself. You split the epidermis from the dermis, and that creates a little gap, increased blood flow, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Anybody have any takes on that? Any opinions? Let me ask you a question. If somebody sprains an ankle, is the problem in the skin? If somebody has plantar fasciitis, a rotator cuff tear, is that a problem in the skin? So why in the world does minimal increased blood flow between the epidermis and the dermis, how is that going to affect this deep tissue damage? That's my question. So in my opinion, my humble, very humble opinion, that's a no dice. We have a sad face. Because so far, it's not looking good with this idea of kinesio tape. The friction theory, that was the one we brought up earlier with this idea of isolating the skin, the tissue, be it bone, tendon, ligament, muscle, underneath the skin moves and creates friction. No invasive research on that. None whatsoever. Another sad face. Because we don't have proof of it. See what I'm getting at? So what about the proprioceptive awareness theory? This idea that just I feel something on my body, so it might bring awareness to it. All I'm going to say is I'm hopefully, hope, hopefully, happily, cautiously optimistic here. I'm not saying that it's super. I'm just going to say that I'm a little bit optimistic. Okay, what about the reduced range of motion theory? What, about, what do you all think about that one? If the kinesio tape actually crosses a joint, are you taping in such a way that it can limit range of motion? Would that potentially help healing? Okay, I'll take that. So you create this external stability, if you will. You limit range of motion and pr hopefully, potentially, prevent further injury. Yes, sir? Couldn't you just use normal tape? Could you do it? Couldn't you use normal tape? I'm going to say yes. However, let's say that you don't want to completely stop range of motion. You just want to add a little bit of resistance against it. In other words, a more elastic tape than your athletic tape. Might this come into play? That's why on this one... I am, again, cautiously optimistic. But the problem is, is that this idea of how it might work isn't all that scientific. I'm just aware there's something on my shoulder, and I'm reducing range of motion as I might do with regular athletic tape. So I'm not saying it's completely uncredible. I almost used the word poop there. I'm just saying it may not be the magic, it may not have the magical powers Mr. Lance Armstrong says it does. Okay. I have to end with this because I love this while I was researching. This is a, a licensed uh, kinesio tape specialist. And this is a quote from them. I, I thought it was very, very ironic. An absolute answer still isn't there for why it works exactly. We don't know. Yeah, it works. How? I have no clue. Can you imagine that? You're going to go buy a car. When we want to buy a house, well, yeah, the roof holds up. I don't know how, but it, I think it runs. I don't know how. I mean, come on. All right, so are there any questions about this idea of kinesio tape?